If the last time you had a tea party was when you had baby teeth, well, it's probably time to brush up on how to have a proper tea. And the woman for the job, Jo Gemmel, she is the owner of the tea English Rose Tea Room, and that's in Carefree. Oh, so good to see you. Nice I to have see been you so too, excited Susan. about this segment. Thank you for bringing this absolutely amazing hat. You're welcome, and you wear it oh, so well. Oh, and so do you. You <laughs> always are so beautiful and charming when you come in. So give us a brief history of the afternoon tea. Well, afternoon tea has been around for a long time time and really um, the tea ceremony itself started almost 2,000 years ago in mm. China but the way we drink tea now it really started with Anna the Duchess of Bedford and around the 17th century she decided that you know she was one of those women that wore those very tight dresses where you couldn't eat a thing the corset and That's she's right, like cinching <laughs> them in and it was really like you couldn't really eat a big meal right. and she decided about four o'clock in the afternoon that she was starving and she wanted to have a nice cup of tea and some little tidbits with her friends and that's really Really where the ceremony of afternoon tea started I love that. in high society. Oh, it's perfect. And the beautiful part is you do this and you get to dress up and play this wonderful exactly. uh, tea, afternoon tea on a daily basis. And you're going to hear more about that in just a moment. But tea is so popular these days. Why is it becoming so popular? It is. Well, tea is a wonderful thing to take part in. Unlike coffee that tends to be synonymous with a styrofoam cup and you're dr drinking it while you're driving along in the car right, usually, right. tea is a much more elaborate affair. There's teapots that are needed. You need bone china tea cups, usually loose tea, mm. and the whole process of putting the tea in the teapot with boiling hot water, letting it steep for a while, then pouring it through a strainer, waiting for it to brew, those things take time, so it's not something you can rush, and as a consequence of that, you end up having lovely conversation with friends, you get dressed up for the event, mm. have to wear a hat when you, you have tea. You have to wear a hat, honey, oh my gosh, <laughs> it, it's like the... The most important exactly. thing, I think, is how yes, you look. Yes. All right, so on Facebook, I posted, would you know how to drink tea at an afternoon tea? So we're going to go through the do's and don'ts, and at least you are anyway. You're <laughs> going to teach us what should we do at a tea party and what's a no-no. Well, the first thing is obviously to dress for the occasion. It's such a special thing to have tea with a friend. Of course, you can have tea in a mug and just, you know, put right. your jeans on. That's fine, too. <laughs> but if you're going to go out to a real tea ceremony, it's really nice to, first of all, dress the part, have the hat on, wear mm -hmm. something nice. And then you want to have a nice bone china teacup with a spoon and a nice cup of tea inside. Now, tea has to be hot. No iced tea and ice cubes. Mm. Tea has to be hot. It needs to have milk in it to have good flavor milk. as far as I'm concerned. Okay. And then in terms of some other do's and don'ts, if we were standing like this and we were perhaps at a tea party where people were mingling and standing up, you'd always pick up the cup and saucer and hold it in the palm of your hand okay. and the teacup handle faces out to the right generally. Okay. And then you would pick up the cup and then you would drink with the cup and with the saucer still in your hand okay. and drink this way. Of course, no slurping noises. That oh. goes without saying. Oh, that's frightful. And the spoon. And the spoon. If you have to stir your tea, you stir it real quietly. We don't need to ring any bells here. Yeah, real so quietly. No, no side hitting, no. okay? And, and then, then the spoon goes back behind the cup because okay. it's real easy to knock that off if you're not careful. I, I noticed that my posture is really yes, good right now. <laughs> exactly. When you wear a hat, you have to stand yes. up straight too. Okay. Now, if we were sitting down at a mm -hmm. tea table, the cup and saucer would stay on the table. And in that instance, if we were sat down, we would bring the cup toward us this way. But but we wouldn't, we wouldn't need to keep the saucer oh, okay. there, but it's a, it feels a little awkward because we're standing mm -hmm. today. But sitting down, you'd always keep the cup and saucer on the table. And very quickly, tell us about the big Downton Abbey party that oh, you guys are having. At the English Rose Tea Room in Carefree, we're having a fabulous tribute to Downton Party because oh. we're all suffering from the loss of not seeing it anymore. So on April the 23rd, that's in a couple of weeks' time, on a Saturday, we're serving some beautiful tea treats. This is an example of some of the things we'll be serving. There'll be some special guests there. I think you've had a sneak peek at some of them mm. standing around us today. <laughs> Terry missed it, but she thought they were guests in our I studio. I know, yes, don't worry. <laughs> Carson's being particularly quiet this yes, morning. Yes, he is. And then, of course, we'll have some Downton trivia questions to ask. We'll be doing a competition. We encourage everybody to come dressed for the occasion. Dress the part, for sure. Dress Let's give part. you some information. Thank you so much. You're always so charming You're and wonderful. Very welcome. The English Rose Tea Room is located at 201 Easy Street. That's at 103 in Carefree, Suite 103. Give them a call, 480-488-488. 812 is the number to call. They also have a wonderful website, carefreetea.com.